Hello everyone, Tiffany Manger here. And this time I'm going to show you another card. As you can see, this just looks like a regular birthday card. But then you open it this way. It folds down and it says surprise. And you got a spot for a gift card to be put in there. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And let me set this guy aside here. And I'm going to do this a little different. Um, This is just a plain old birthday card. And I thought I'm going to get a little head and do Father's Day already. Because I haven't used this set yet. And I really want to use this. So this is basic gray. And this is four and a quarter by 11. And I scored it at five and a half. And then you're going to need a piece of DSP. This is um, from the Cupcakes and Carousel set. And this here is at four by five and one quarter of an inch. Okay. And then you need a piece of Whisper White. And this guy is going to be, I believe it is five by three and three quarters because he's just going to go right across there. And for your outside pieces, for your little flap here. Here's another piece of basic gray. And this will be four and a quarter by two and three fourths. And then your next layer on top of that will be, um, let me think here. <laughs> Excuse me. You're going to need, this is at four by two and a half. You're going to have another piece of DSP by four and two and a half. And then I have another piece of basic gray and this is also four by two and a half. And then I need a piece of, excuse me, of Whisper White here. And this guy is at two and a quarter by three and three quarters. All right, so it's a lot of pieces here as you can see. So we're going to start off. We're going to do our base. So like I said, you have it scored at four and a quarter. We're going to fold that like so. Then you're going to take this piece and you're going to fold it in half down like so. And take your iron folder, give that a nice, real good crease there. So then, I would take some fast fuse and go across your edge, like so, and seal that down. There you go. Voila, there's our base and how that flips. So next, we are going to take, where did I put it? Okay. You can put this guy on here, your big DSP. Attach him in here like so. I'm gonna put this here. Alrighty. And then this is our uh, whisper white piece and I am using the nailed it stamp set as you can see this is for a more masculine card that's why I wanted to do this and it does have matching framelits that we're going to be using this is called the build it framelits as you can see there so I'm going to take the little tacks or nails and I'm going to take basic gray and I'm going to stamp around the edges here and I, I got it really inky, so I don't want to, I don't want to push on my edges too much here. I'm missing, I'm getting some white spots here. That's good. I'm not going to do any more. All right. Close this for the moment. 
All right, and then I'm going to take crushed curry. And I'm going to take this one that says Happy Father's Day. Let me get up. And I'm going to stamp that right down at the bottom here. Like so. There we go. Okay. Close this up. I believe we're done with the crushed curry. All right. So we're going to stick this inside. Stick it like there. Yep, that's going to cover it up. And I'm smudging it. Darn it. Oh, okay. So there you go. All right. While we're continuing to do our inside, we're going to take one of our smaller DSPs here and we're going to take our two inch punch go about halfway down or maybe a quarter of a way and give it a punch so there we got our pocket for our gift card and here you just want to go right on the edges Right on the edges so you have room to slide that gift card in. And you can either do it this way or you can pull it out that way or you can do it this way. I think I'm going to do it this way this time. So there you go. Now you have your spot for your gift card. Slide that in there. Alright, and now we are inside. Alright. Now this piece here, oops, get this. this piece here, that's not it, okay. <laughs> okay, this is our two and a half by four. We're going to take our washi tape, and this, is, this washi tape is called Urban Underground. And we're just going to make a cool design here. I'm just going to go across the middle like so with this guy. All right, the middle size or the smaller size one, I'm going to go right here. I wanted to do something a little different. I didn't want to use another thing, a DSP, but I didn't want to run it through a folder either. So I figured let's use the washi tape. I don't use the washi tape enough. Okay, and just rip the edges there and fold that over. Now that we got that there, we'll put that on. And he goes across like this. Okay, I don't know why this is not staying. You gotta get this creased real good. So next we're going to work on these pieces here and this shouldn't take too long because I already got most of it done. So this will go on to this piece here like so. Okay. And this piece here I have the stamp that says thanks for always building me up. And I'm going to stamp that with the basic gray. Stamp them right down on the bottom. There we go. And so what I did was, is I took some of the tools and I already pre-cut them and colored them, as you see. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to attach this onto my piece here, like so. And then I'm going to attach these guys here. And if I can get them to move, <laughs> put our hammer right here, right in the middle. It'll 
take our screwdriver and put him right here. And then we will take our wrench and we'll tilt him right here like so. There we go. And then we're going to take some dimensionals. Like so here. And I'm just going to put them right along the bottom. And I think I might put one right here on the halfway area. Okay. Like so. And usually I cut them and save the save dimensionals and everything, but we want to make this quick. So, once we got that there, we're going to put this about halfway on. You want to center that, like so. And there you go. Voila! Now you got a nice Father's Day card. You can do birthday, whatever. I think it'd be cool to put like a Home Depot or a hardware store gift card in there. And there is that. Very easy peasy. And here's the other one to show. Okay. If you like what you've seen, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I try to do a new video every week. If you would like to order any of these products, you can go to my website, www.tiffanymanger.stampinup.net. If you have any questions, you can ask down below or you can check out my Facebook page, Tiffany Manger Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you come back again. Have a nice day.